Are you one of those people who are constantly asking themselves, why am I always broke? Or do you have a good job with a nice paycheck, but your bank account is always overdrawn? Well, in this video, I will share with you the six reasons why most people will always be poor, regardless of how much they make. So make sure you watch this video to the end to find out what you can do to change your situation forever. There are several strategies you could use to build your wealth over time. However, they're completely useless if you don't first identify the habits that are straining your finances. And that's what I will be discussing in this video. Here are the six reasons why you could be stuck in an endless cycle of poverty. Number one, you are waiting for someone to save you. Having the right connections can open up doors to new opportunities. However, believing that you can only succeed with the help of another person is a sure way to keep yourself poor. A number of people believe that the key to their success is someone who is better or more intelligent than them. Some are hoping to run into an old friend or a family member who will reveal money-making secrets to them, while others follow those who make them believe they can attract wealth through their imagination. In today's world, you don't always need others to tell you what to do to be successful. Several free videos and courses are available to assist you in identifying possibilities and developing skills on your own. As Buddha once said, no one saves us but ourselves. No one can and no one may. We must walk the path. Thinking that someone has to help you succeed will only keep you stuck in life. So, stop hoping that one person or event will improve your life. That is not the way life works. You must be willing to stretch yourself, work hard and take chances. You must put through with the difficulty and exhaustion of acquiring a talent rather than waiting to find what you are naturally good at. Number 2. You rely on one stream of income Having one source of income can be convenient for a while, but what happens if you lose that job? What happens if that business fails or your salary is reduced? Relying on one source of income not only puts you in a difficult financial situation if something unexpected occurs, but it also keeps you broke. The more income streams you have, the quicker your money can grow. When you have many sources of income, it is much simpler to attain your financial objectives because you may generate more money and get closer to your financial goals much faster than if you only had one. If your current salary is not cutting it for you, you should consider pursuing other money-making opportunities. For instance, you could start up a side hustle like blogging or vlogging. You may put your money into stocks or real estate. Alternatively, you might become a freelancer and look for well-paying jobs on websites like Upwork, Fiverr, and many more. You've probably heard the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. The idea is that you should broaden your sources of income to ensure that if anything goes wrong with one, you don't lose everything. So, if you just have one source of income and something goes wrong, it will be devastating for your financial well-being and recovery may take some time. Number 3. You do not save According to bank rate data from 2022, 56% of Americans would not be able to cover a $1,000 unexpected bill with savings. In other words, Americans are generally undersaved. As a result, they are prone to debt, resulting in an ongoing cycle of poverty. Contrary to what many people think, you do not need to earn a certain amount before you can start saving. It is critical to emphasize saving regardless of your age, stage of life, or income level. When it comes to saving, the habit is more important than the money. It all boils down to priorities. And if you don't prioritize saving, no matter how much money you make, it will be tough to save. You won't get there until you make saving a priority, whether it's for a new car, a house, or retirement. Many people assume that setting small amounts aside will never add up, but it does. Setting up a little bit of money from each paycheck will gradually build up to the greater sum you intended for. Saving money is obviously not an easy habit to form. It takes practice. You are more likely to continue with it if you start doing it automatically each pay month. And remember, the earlier you start, the better the chances of a financially secure future. Real quick, if you're enjoying the video so far, please do me a huge favor and tap that like button as it helps get this video out to more people like you. And subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you aboard. Number 4. You spend too much on housing One of the reasons most people are always broke is that they spend too much money on housing. 
If you spend a large part of your income on housing, you are undoubtedly damaging your financial account. The ideal cost of housing is set at about 30%, which represents the highest amount you can spend on a house and still live a reasonable lifestyle given your level of income. For instance, if you earn $3,200 monthly before taxes, you should not live in a house whose rent exceeds $960 per month. The 30% rule is a good guideline, but it is not a universal rule. Because circumstances differ, you may need to make adjustments. For instance, let's say you live in a low-income area. You should not pass up a $575 per month apartment because it is only 18% of your monthly income. On the other hand, sticking to a 30% rent budget isn't always possible in places like New York City or San Francisco, where the average monthly rent for a one-bedroom apartment exceeds $2,000. So if your rent payments are too high, you should look into alternative possibilities, otherwise you will be living paycheck to paycheck. You might consider relocating to a less costly property or area, or you could simply find a roommate and split costs. Number 5. You do not set financial goals. Do you have a long-term financial plan, or do you just go with the flow? The unpleasant fact is that there is a considerable difference between someone who works with a plan and someone who just goes with the flow of life. Poor planning may not have caused your poverty, but it may certainly keep you there. You can have all the conviction in the world, but if you do not have a firm plan outlining how much you intend to earn and save, or how much you plan to achieve your financial goals, you are most likely relying on luck to move from poverty to prosperity. To get out of financial difficulties, one must have a clear financial strategy for the future. You have to create and stick to realistic short-term and long-term financial goals. Identify and write down your goals for the day, week, month, or even five years. You need to visualize your future and work out a realistic path to get there. This will drive you to improve your financial situation. So, how do you create a financial plan? Begin by making a list of your financial goals, both those you're working toward and those you haven't begun working on yet. After that, prioritize these goals based on the weight of their significance. Then write down the exact details of each goal, such as the timeline, the amount of money needed, and the amount you've already saved. This will assist you in determining what is required to achieve each goal and developing a strategy. A financial planner may assist you in developing a financial strategy. However, if you are interested in learning how to do it, there are several YouTube videos and online articles that could be of help. So, make great use of such resources. Number 6. You don't have an emergency fund. Before you start saving for retirement or paying down debt, you should work on building an emergency fund. An emergency fund is a good way to protect yourself from unexpected financial circumstances. There's always the possibility that you'll lose your job and have to cope for a while without a regular paycheck. Or you may need to perform a home repair or take an unexpected trip. An emergency fund will help you through that tough situation by covering some or all of the cost. This way, you are not forced to use your savings or take out a loan. You will also feel at peace since you have a backup plan in place. People will sometimes forego an emergency fund in order to save for retirement, which is not bad. When an important expense arises, however, they must take cash from their retirement account to meet it. Withdrawing money from a retirement account should be done only as a last option. It depletes your retirement savings and will almost certainly result in penalties. If you take an early withdrawal from a 401k, for example, you must pay a 10% penalty. Subscribe for more weekly investment tips. Leave a comment below. Happy investing!